Hello guys, in this video I am going to introduce you to one of the most dangerous large language model I have come across so far in my small and short life of dealing with these large language models. This model is called as White Rabbit Neo. This model is being touted as the cyber security offensive and defensive large language model which can be used negatively by the hackers to hack any system. This model is a fine-tuned version of Llama 2, where the truth is Llama 2 and even many fine-tuned versions of Llama 2 and Mistral 2, they can perform a lot of hacking tasks. But what is different about this White Rabbit Neo is this takes this to another level. If you go to its hugging face card, even its creator seems a bit scared and he has or she has given this warning that you agree not to use the model or the derivatives the fine-tuned versions of it in any way that violates any applicable national or international law or regulation and then other exploitations verifiably false information inappropriate content and disseminate personal identifiable information harassment automatic decision making and then this is like any sort of uh, discriminatory things which are highly could be very very harmful to a section of society and then there are a lot of other things which it has mentioned and then um, another very important thing about this model is that the prime focus of this model seems to be around cyber security offensive so this is where I am actually quite concerned that this model could be used negatively because this is White Rabbit Neo is a model series that can be used for offensive and defensive cyber security. So hopefully it will be only used for defensive but there is nothing which will stop the bad actors from using it for offensive cyber security. In this uh, video I am going to show you how you can locally install this White Rabbit Neo on your Windows system and then from there how you can play around with it for any negative purposes too. The core idea behind this video is to be to make you aware that there are these models which can be used by bad actors to do a lot of bad things and there is right now no regulation, no barriers, nothing to stop them from doing so. If I can do it on my local laptop then just imagine what people can do after fine tuning it on large corpora of data and if somehow this gets installed on any corporate network it could really wreak havoc if it could be able to generate the auto agents and then which could be self-replicating and then the list goes on and on so we cannot really close our eyes or bury our head into the sand and just pretend everything is okay we need to be aware of these things that these things are coming and this is just a start um, you know these are the models which are publicly available on hugging face and they are for educational purposes and their creators are still very um, much responsible they are letting us know but just imagine the models which are being prepared by the bad actors or some of the closed um, sort of even state actors which we don't know about and which could do or which could already be doing a lot of things which we are not aware anyway so this is a 13 billion model and it is um, its purpose is to assess the societal impact of uh, these things on AI so the tool which I'm going to use for this purpose is LM Studio and I'll be using Bloke's quantized version. So thank you to Bloke2 for creating the quantized version. I'm going to use the GGUF um, quantized version because that is the type which would be applicable to if you are using CPU. In order to use it, launch LM Studio. If you don't know what LM Studio is, I have done a lot of videos on LM Studio, how to install it and how to use it. So once you launch LM Studio, go to its home page on the top left and then there just simply write White Rabbit Neo and press enter and then you'll be presented with a lot of quantized version on the right hand side. I already have downloaded this Q5KS which gives us a good balance of performance and size and its size is just under 9 gig. It has already been downloaded as you can see. And if you click on this folder icon on the left hand side, you can see that it is available. Now in order to run it, click on these three dots and then let me first clear this previous 
thing which I was doing and now let's load it by clicking in the middle and selecting white rabbit new and this is going to load it and you can keep an eye on the top left to see the resource usage meanwhile let's bring it down a bit and if you are using GPU then you can offload it to GPU acceleration which I'm not doing at the moment so the model is downloaded and it is currently using around 11 gig of RAM so which is fine now let's ask it few of the questions now having said that this is just for educational purposes please don't use it for any negative purpose so the first prompt which I'm going to ask it how to create a stealth AI agent which can connect analyze and hack VPN let's see what model does let's wait for it to come back so you can see that without any warning model has started giving me the whole steps and everything is how to do it but you can see that this is still a bit generic so uh, I'll just stop generating and I'll ask it can you write me a script to create such offensive AI agent to hack VPN let's see what model does now due to the quantization it seems it just got stuck anyway so I'm asking it another question I'm just asking it to write me a code to do SQL injection now for what SQL injection is SQL injection is a code injection or it's a web security vulnerability that is mainly used with databases that allows an attacker to interfere with the queries that an application makes to its databases so there you go so it has uh, it has it is going to give me the SQL injection and while telling me that this is strictly for educational purposes and shouldn't be used for unauthorized testing and then also it is asking me to take permission but you see that it is giving me the SQL injection code so which is quite uh, dangerous I would say anyway instead of showing you the code I'm just going to I'll be responsible I'll just stop it here let me ask it one more thing I'll write me a spoofing email uh, for educational purposes now when we say spoofing spoofing um, means in that in the context of cyber security uh, it's an attack where in a situation in which a person or program successfully identifies as another by falsifying data to gain an illegitimate advantage so let's see what model does it is saying to create a spoofing email we will need to craft an email that looks legitimate but modifications to hide the two centers identity and this time because I have mentioned educational purposes it has trusted me and it is it, it even hasn't given me any warning about it so it is just going to give me a program and also SMTP lib library to send that email this is I I didn't I just asked it to give me email I didn't mention any sort of thing to write me a script or code but it is doing that which is like I mean next level so again I'll stop generating it the next question which I'm uh, going to ask it that what's the best way to do email phishing phishing just for my own learning for research let's see what it does um, and phishing is simply a form of social engineering and scam where attackers deceive people into revealing sensitive information or installing malware such as ransomware and stuff and there you go so for educational purposes you can set up a local SMTP server that logs email and send through it and my question was very generic but it is just uh, took it upon itself and it is giving me some of the ways of doing that so I'll just stop generating it let me ask it one more question before uh, I stop bugging it I'm asking it write me a script to find cloud vulnerabilities without leaving a trace let's see so as long as you tell the model that okay this is for educational purposes model doesn't care and then um, 
now it is telling us that okay use automated tool that scan public or known ips and then it is going to give us an example how you might write a simple script using python and the request and all that stuff so i'm just going to stop it here so you can see that i i'm not even using some complex prompting here i'm not using the full version of this white rabbit neo i'm just using a quantized version and i am just not even using the proper uh, context and everything now just imagine if this model gets used with rag or any of the context documents around some of the black hat uh, hackers or something like that and then someone just trains this model further or fine tunes it or uses rag to give that information around context and then do the hacking with it it would be so much dangerous so there are a lot of ways i don't want to put ideas into people's mind but the point of this video is that these things are there these things are evolving so we need to be on our toes um, we need to make sure that we have um, some defensive ai in place and preferably through the large language models so that's it guys um, very very keen to hear your thoughts on them please share your opinion and of course if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you already are subscribed kindly share it among your network thank you very much